Hello there. If you're an internet marketer or an affiliate marketer, today in just a few minutes, I want to give you the simple secret of success. The simple formula that will guarantee you success as an affiliate marketer or as an internet marketer. My name is Peter Beckenham, the Village Marketer from PeterBeckenham.com. And truly, it's the formula is so simple, you'll probably laugh. But it is. And this is what it is. Drive highly targeted traffic to a high converting squeeze page. And if you do that, you'll get a lot of cash. That is as simple as it is. Please hear me out. You probably knew that. But do you do it? And does it work for you? That's the key. Drive highly targeted traffic to a high converting sales page, website, whatever you want to call it. If that traffic meets a website that can convert it, you'll make money. If you've got the best product in the world and you've got no traffic, you'll be broke. If you've got lots of traffic, but you can't convert it on your website, you'll also be broke. So that's why it works, right? It's a pretty simple formula. Now, nearly every website online, and you'll probably included, right, have their sales funnels, right? I mean, it sounds a crazy term, but it's really what it is. It's a, it's a funnel where prospects are fed into the funnel, okay? And you, that funnel's job, its only job, is to convert them. Now, they convert at various different levels. Can you remember the last time you bought something online, and once you bought it, then you offered an upsell, or what they call a one-time offer, okay? Get it today. Uh, How did you feel right then? Think about it. Did it make you feel okay? Did it, did it make you feel, God, I wish I'd never bought the darn thing in the first place? I mean, that's part of the process. You've got to be able to manage the way that you actually upsell to people as well. Because if you do it right, then the upsell adds value to the people and they'll be very, very happy to increase their orders with you. But if you do it the wrong way, then I can tell you they'll be extremely angry and you'll probably end up with a refund. If you're brand spanking new online, let me share this with you. The sales funnel, at the top end, okay, they have what they call the front end products. They're lower priced usually. Still good quality, but lower priced. And as you go further down in the funnel, okay, then the offers become increasingly more expensive and more valuable. And so that's basically what a funnel does. And in the end, if the customer goes right through the funnel and purchases at different levels, and by the way, it may not be all at the same time. It could be over a period of time, right? But if they purchase at, at different levels from you, then that particular customer becomes extremely valuable to you, obviously, right? So to be successful online, you've got to have your own sales funnel or have access to a sales funnel. It may not be yours. You could be using somebody else's, right, if you're an affiliate. The key issue is this. The sales funnel must be good enough to attract targeted prospects in the first place, right? That's the targeted traffic bit. And by the way, you need to know how to drive it there anyway. Once the traffic gets there, then the, t the funnel has got to convert that traffic to grab their attention, get some interest. And if you're smart, start building your email list. That's one of the things you should be doing. So when you get leads, come to your website, whatever you do, don't miss the opportunity to build relationships with them and market to them again by getting them to join your email list. That's an essential part of your sales funnel. Another part of your sales funnel is to convert the leads you've got, your email list, your subscribers, into paying customers with effective follow-up. That's all part, again, of your sales funnel. Email marketing is the major way I do that. Okay, So, convert your prospects into paying customers. The next stage is to try and convert your paying customers into repeat customers to buy more from you. And then finally, to get those same customers to go right to the end of your sales funnel and buy your big ticket, high priced items, okay, that give them immense value. That's the process of the funnel. That's what you need to have. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's much easier to get targeted traffic than it is to convert the traffic. I can guarantee you that. It's much harder to convert the traffic than it is to find it and get it. So the key steps in any successful sales funnel are these. One, have an attractive, highly perceived value offer. 
This gets people into your funnel to join your list. Two, have a relevant front-end offer. And relevant, I mean relevant to the free offer you gave in order to attract them to join your list. Keep things relevant, right? Three, provide upsells to those customers. Again, that is relevant and adding more value to the customer, right? And four, have your back-end offers in there available and expose your paying customers to them over a period of time to make sure they are aware of the value they can get from you and how it can help them in their business or whatever it may be. These funnels are very simple and easy to make and design, but very challenging to make them work effectively. The two key factors that will affect the success of your sales funnel. One is the quality of your traffic. If the traffic's not targeted, in other words, if it's not interested in what you've got to, to offer, then it's certainly not going to convert, right? And secondly, the perceived value of your free initial offer, the one that attracts them to you to join your mailing list. Please do not take a cheap option there. Make sure you give real value. Sure, you're giving it away for free, but make sure it's absolutely valuable. And this perception is extremely good that, that they are lucky to get it for free. Those two key issues are very important to you. And of course, follow-up. Please make sure that your follow-up, which probably will be done by an autoresponder by email sequence, make sure your follow-up is relevant at all times, that you understand your target audience, that you understand the needs, the challenges, the pain points of the people that joined you in the first place. And make sure that your messages relate to that one pain point at a time. And show them how you can actually help them overcome the pain points, their challenges, by the offers that you may have when it's available to them, when it's convenient to them, when they want it. So there you go. That's my overview of how to become a successful internet and affiliate marketer. Now, some of it may be too difficult, I appreciate that, okay? especially the conversion things. But look, there's a link near this video. Please, come and join me. I'm happy to share with you a lot more ideas, tips and strategies, and I've even got some other solutions for you in terms of this problem of conversions. If you're interested, click the link and come and join with me. If you join with me today, by the way, you're going to get access to a free 45-minute presentation, if you can put up with me for that long, okay, about how to drive free targeted traffic to any website you want. So click the link, and that's, by the way, that's not the only thing you're going to get, okay, because I want to build a relationship with you. Maybe I can help you. I enjoy helping people get established online. I enjoy seeing people bloom and do wonderful things. And hey, you never know, we could become business partners one day. So please, click the link, join with me, connect with me, make sure we get to know each other, let's share some ideas together, and I'll see you soon. All the best, bye for now.